I'm Arthur Adunia. I'm CTO of Canoe Ventures. Canoe Ventures uh, was founded by the top six cable companies in North America. Our goal is to uh, accelerate and introduce advanced advertising products and services uh, initially for the digital television platform. EBIF, um, which stands for Enhanced Television Binary Interexchange Format, uh, is a technology, a language, and a platform for enabling interactivity on linear broadcast programming, which would include original content as well as uh, commercials. Uh, EBIF, is a, as a specification, is, uh, was developed and maintained by Cable Labs. And when I was at Bright House Networks as an MSO, uh, I was part of the effort that led to the initial development of the specification and proofing it and publishing it. Uh, and Canoe has provided a great business driver for actually um, accelerating the rollout and deployment of EBIF technology by uh, service operators beginning with the cable companies. Um, EBIF is a buzz here at the show because it's the platform that is enabling a real national footprint for interactivity. And with that footprint, you can actually start generating new applications. You can start generating real revenue opportunities for services, new technologies and devices. Um, and uh, essentially the kind of marketplace um, that we've been hoping for for interactive television in the U.S. for more than two decades. Uh, EBIF is agnostic in a sense to what the digital programming um, that it is enhancing happens to be. You can add it, and, and so it is at the, it's at the discretion really of the program or the content owner uh, or the system operator if they're creating an EBIF application on what they would want to make interactive. It can be, like we said, a game show. It could be the news. Or it could be a 30 or a 60 second commercial. It's really up to the owner of that content on where they want to add value and enhance the viewing experience. We need to get um, EBIF uh, capabilities into every digital television household in the US, uh, which means enabling cable first, but then all other service providers. Then we need to make sure that all uh, uh, programmers, broadcasters, uh, cable network operators are also have the capability of inserting EBIF-based applications or, um, or enhancing their content and their advertising with EBIF. We need to make sure that advertisers and agencies understand and buy into the value of enhanced television and um, interactive advertising based on EBIF. We want them to start spending their dollars uh, even more so on interactive television. We want creatives, including producers, to start understanding the capabilities that EBIF can do on scale. And we want them to start creating very, very cool new stuff for viewers based on that, that whether it's ad supported or not, is going to create great value for all of the different players in the ecosystem. We want that now. We are talking to essentially the ITV community. I mean, this, this show is not only the center of the universe right now for interactive television in the US, but I think it's for the, for the known universe. As far as I can see, we've got folks from, from all over the world here. And we have partnered. We're partnering with, uh, with Tracy and TV of Tomorrow as Canoe and uh, with our sister uh, cable um, uh, organization, Cable Labs. Uh, and we are helping to sponsor uh, an EBIF intensive day, which will happen tomorrow, Friday, March 5th, still here at the lovely Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. Uh, and we have uh, programmed an incredible day of EBIF education, awareness, workshops, as well as roundtables, all meant to not only educate and inform, but to accelerate the commitment to develop and deploy EBIF-based applications among programmers, broadcasters, agencies, advertisers, and of course, our very own MSO system operators. The kind of audience that the show uh, attracts is the kind of readership that TVOT has, um, which are exactly the right, the, the, it, it's the folks who are making interactive television, 
who are shaping what interactive television needs to be um, and who have been committed and passionate about making ITV a reality in the U.S. for so long. I mean, there was really no, there was really no, um, no doubt about, about participating here. This is where you can find all the folks who are actually committed uh, to ITV and are developing it. The experts conference is the way, the best way to think about it. But at the same time, it's also because we've all known each other for so long, it's also the best place to come and catch up um, uh, on, at all levels. Uh, so it also feels like you're, you're friends, you know, coming together here. Um, so there's, there's this really unique blend of of knowing that you're going to get the, the cutting edge in terms of what's going on, whether it's on the technology or the policy or the business or the application side. At the same time, it's wrapped in this, in this layer of both you know, acquaintanceship, friendship, and this informality, um, almost this innocence, which is really, really appealing. It's very important to make sure that the right audiences learn about EBIF and not only learn about EVIF, but as we've said, uh, commit themselves to deploying and developing. So we are working closely as CANU with Cable Labs and with programmers and with EVIF vendors, EVIF uh, technology and service providers, uh, in something that we've called EVIF awareness, really as a campaign. And one of the elements of the EBIF Awareness Initiative is that in conjunction with Cable Labs, we've developed a website as a resource for any and all who are interested in learning about EBIF or doing something with EBIF. And the URL is www.ebif.tv.